check out China's Gaokin Thor GK1000 Cruiser. Coming across an original Chinese automobile design is a rarity as the automakers in the Far East have a bad habit of copying from European and American automakers. But things are slowly changing and the bulky new Gaokin Thor GK1000 is an indication of this shift to original design and engineering. Chongqing Gaokin Industry Company is a Chinese engine and transmission maker who also has forayed into the world of motorcycles. They also own Brixton, the heritage-rich British motorcycle maker that has interesting offerings like the Crossfire 500 range, and an affordable Triumph Bonneville alternative called Cromwell 1200. Gaokin has direct ties with the making of these machines. The Thor GK1000 uses an all-original V-twin motor and a design language that brings back the custom chopper vibe. Because of Gaokin's strong European ties, we have high hopes for the Thor GK1000 coming to Europe as a rebadged Brixton, and hopefully, make it across the pond as well. The all-original Gaokin Thor GK1000 shows us that China's love for big-capacity motorcycles is at an all-time high. Gaokin Thor GK1000 Front Third Quarter Close-Up View via youtube.com slash motors ampersand Marcus. The Thor GK1000 packs in an all-new 997 cubic centimeters 80-degree V-twin motor that churns out 88.5 horsepower at 7, 2000 rpm and 70 lbft at 6000 rpm. It is most likely coupled to a six-speed manual which drives the rear wheels via a toothed belt. While this liquid-cooled mill is smaller in displacement than the biggest engine in Gaokin's arsenal, the 1,200 cubic centimeters unit in the Brixton Cromwell, it managed to be the most powerful of them. It has a claimed top speed of 123 miles per hour. A Chinese motorcycle with an original chopper-inspired design. The most striking part about the Gaokin Thor GK1000 is that it isn't a copycat design. While there are strong Ducati Diavel vibes, especially towards the rear end, the GK1000 has been designed in the image of an American custom chopper. The long wheelbase and low saddle height with the forward-mounted foot pegs give it all the design cues of a highway cruising chopper. Gaokin has gone for an aluminum alloy frame which has a cool contrasting enclosure to highlight the engine's V. The short rear section gets a tire hugger kit equipped with the license plate holder. A dual exhaust system adds highly to its beefy cruiser appeal. It also gets distinctively designed block type 18 inch wheels at both ends with a 130 section tire up front and a chunkier 240 section at the rear. Thor GK1000 is packed with premium features. There is no dearth of premium features on this Chinese cruiser. The engine is supported with multiple riding modes to help cater to a wider range of riding scenarios. KYB takes care of the suspension situation with 43 mm. forks up front and a beefy monoshock at the rear. It gets J-1 disc brakes at both ends which are coupled to an ABS by Bosch. Traction control is also present here. It packs a fully digital TFT instrument cluster that also comes with Bluetooth smartphone connectivity. The lighting setup is all LED and the headlamp gets a mean blacked out construction. Will the Gaokin Thor GK1000 make it to Europe and the US? While nothing is concrete as of now, as per the general trend of how Gaokin offerings make their way to Europe as Brixton's through the Austrian distributor, KSR, we see the possibility of the Thor GK1000 arriving in Europe as the most powerful Brixton yet. The unofficial pricing for this cruiser in China is the equivalent of around $7,570. It will be an extremely affordable competitor to the likes of the $11,950 Triumph, Bonneville Bobber and the Ducati Diavel range which start from $20,295.